Good evening, muchachos y muchachas. We are in Miraflores, in the center of La Paz. And a fun fact about Bolivia as a general, there's no McDonald's in all of Bolivia. And today, or well tonight, we're going to find out exactly why that is. McDonald's did try and set up shop here in Bolivia in the 90s, but they had to close back down again because they simply couldn't generate enough sales. And that is because of all the amazing street food in this city. Bolivia is famous for the street food, La Paz speci specifically, La Paz. So join me tonight as we find out what all the fuss is about with all this street food. I have brought an empty stomach and I smell food. I smell food everywhere. We have uh, these hamburger shops, Salchi Papa, they're selling everywhere in the streets here. And I see one up here that I just think it looks absolutely delicious. There's a long line, always a good sign. This, play, this plaza here, this square, is famous for its street food. So, let's go and try what he has over here. ¿Qué tienen acá? ¿Cuál es la mejor? Todo, todo es bueno. El, el este, el lomito mixto. Es lo mejor. Es el mejor. Es lo mejor, sí. Ese, pedite, ese pedite. Este tengo que probar. Estoy haciendo un video. Oh, para, bueno, para YouTube bueno. sobre la comida callera de Bolivia. ¿Y de dónde viene? De Dinamarca. Qué hermoso país. ¿Conoces? Bueno, por fotografías e internet, ah, sí. Tiene el norte de Europa. Es. Exacto. Pero así, viviéndolo con carne viva, no. No. Pero es un deseo que tengo. Ah, sí. sí. Estoy no haciendo... se necesita pasaporte, ¿no? Desde aquí. Bolivia, Dinamarca. Exacto. Sí. No, no se necesita, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Para sí. entrar en visa, creo que un boliviano necesita visa, ese es el problema. Ah, eso está bueno. Sí. Estoy haciendo como McDonald's contra Bolivia callejera, porque no hay McDonald's acá. No, pues, y es mejor que McDonald's. Exacto. Esta es mucho mejor. Aquí hay variedad, pues. Un punto va a la Bolivia, Exacto. cero para McDonald's. Esta es solo la hamburguesa de McDonald's. <risa> Exactamente. ¿Me ves? Hay más variedad aquí. Entonces el lomito mixto con sachipapo. Eso sería lo mejor que puedes probar acá. Vale. ¿Ya? Buen provecho, amigo. Provecho, Bienvenido sí. a Bolivia. Gracias. A ti pedo acá. Con sachipapo el, ese lomito mixto. ¿Ah? Con sachipapa, sí. Eso. Eso me ha dicho que tengo que probar. ¿Para comer acá? Sí, sí. Acá nomás. ¿Ah? Acá nomás, acá nomás. ¿Qué? para un programa de YouTube? Tengo un canal en YouTube, uh, estoy haciendo videos para viajes. Es el más conocido por el chinito, el snack el chinito 1. El snack el chinito. Exacto, la plaza triangular. The best, the best street food in all of Bolivia. Sí. En all La Paz. En plaza triangular. Es la plaza triangular. Sí. ¿Y tu nombre qué es? Don Ramón. Don. ¿Don qué? Johnny. Johnny. Sí. Ah, Sebastián. Me mm. gusta. Y el, el que vendes más, ¿cuál es? Los sí, pues, eh, sí salen los 17, 15, esas son carnes picaditas, de los lomitos, las salchipapas de bozada con huevo, de 12, así todo sale. Todo, todo sale. sale. La gente aquí, Pero los de arriba son los mejores, las hamburguesas los, con salchipapa y eso. Más, un poco las más eh, cargaditas, como dices. Ah, ya. Yeah. Las más cargaditas para que uno Lo más grande. Lo más grande, exacto. El snackcito. El chinito, uno. ¿Dónde está el 2? El 2 tenemos que Ah, tienes otra. Ah, ya. Muy bien. Estoy preguntando cómo quieres. Hay un alimento. ¿Perdón? Completo con yagua. Completo con yagua, todo. So you're serving with 
mayo with yajua, the spicy, and ketchup. Como, como lo mejor, como la gente prefiere. So this one is sachi papa with sausage and with uh, chips, mayo, ketchup and yajua. Yajua is the spicy sauce of Bolivia. And the hamburgers go with it here. With beef and mayonnaise. All right. Let's try. So the hamburger is with beef, mayonnaise, and ketchup, and onions, and yajua. Yajua igual tiene, ¿no? La hamburguesa. Yajua is the spicy Bolivian sauce. So that was the hamburger, and the hamburger is one for Bolivia, nil for McDonald's. Now we have to try the salchi papa here. So let's get in, let's get stuck in here. Grab a bit of sausage, it's pork sausage, and with a bit of the yajua, spicy salsa. And one of these chips here as well. I tell you what, that yahua, the spicy one, is delicious. It really gives a lovely kick to this with the mayo and the ketchup. And the sausage, great one here again. I think the chips, the chips is one for McDonald's, but the Sachi Papa as a whole, Bolivia wins again. So 2 1 for Bolivia against McDonald's. All right, 20 Bolivianos for a hamburger and a Sachi Papa. The one with the with the chips and the sausage that is about what is that that's about three and a half dollars i'd say i'll put it in there afterwards when i when i get back and edit the video i'll put in exactly what it is but yeah that burger has like mcdonald's has absolutely nothing on that burger way better juicier a spoiled egg in there, lots of sauce, caramelized onions, and a piece of beef. Delicious, absolutely delicious. And the chips as well with the with the with the sausage, very very good as well. Now that's my stomach a little bit full. We'll go and see what else we can we can get stuck into tonight. Alright, we got to the stadium here. So this behind me is the national stadium of Bolivia, the Estadio Hernando Siles. This is where Bolivia play their home games. This is where Bolivar and the strongest, the two teams of La Paz, play their home games. And this is absolutely brilliant, this little plaza in front of of the stadium here right in the middle of the city we're still in the Miraflores area and 
when I used to live here there was a massive building uh, construction site here in front of the stadium and now for the first time I see it finished what they have done is they have put the, the man of the Tiwanaku over here behind me like from Tiwanaku which is a indigenous the Aymara culture a a, 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 a a city an indigenous city an ancient city no longer in, in existence if you know about Machu Picchu in Peru you will that's basically the idea over here we have the Olympic flame from supporting the Bolivian athletes currently in the Olympics. Did it finish by now? I'm not exactly sure, but there's the stadium. They've put this statue here from the Tiwanaku. They've painted that lovely, lovely mural around in the houses here. Like, it is very, very beautiful. It's super stunning. I can only imagine here at, an, at a game when Bolivia plays at home against Brazil or whatever, Argentina, smash Messi up here in this altitude. That's the thing, Bolivia are very bad at football. But up here, up here in the altitude, they can actually compete with the likes of, of Brazil and, and Argentina, simply because we're up at, at 3,600, 3,500 meters in this altitude here. Suddenly, Messi and Neymar aren't that good anymore and whoever plays with the Bolivian side can suddenly compete with, with those two. So yeah, up here, at home, Bolivia is a strong force. Away in, away in Argentina, away in Chile, away in Colombia, they always get beat, sadly. Sadly enough, because this country is dear to my heart, but football is not one of its strong sides. Unfortunately, unfortunately for the Bolivians, because they absolutely love football here. They are crazy about football here. And as you can see, the local youth are here as well, taking photos with the Olympic flame there. This place only just opened back up a couple months ago after years and years and years of construction but I must say what an end result all right enough chatter as always I keep I keep chatting and chatting I just ramble but on with the mission of finding more street food we'll head further in town further into another area of the center we'll try and find Anticucho which is grilled cow's heart an absolute delicacy specialty from here in in Bolivia so yeah let's catch you when I find a bite to eat so he's going to heat it for me. Minta is, is um, from the corn. So it's flour from the corn. It is um, it's flour from the corn with cheese and a little bit of, uh, of, of anise to give it some spice. And then it's wrapped in, in the leaves from the corn itself. See right there. That's, that's the leaf of the corn itself. And then it's baked in the oven. And so he's just heating it up for me right now we'll see it's eight bolivianos slightly more than a dollar for this so that's snack number two of the day feels very soft it's like a pillow basically it's 
So let's see what it looks like on the inside. So it's quite sticky as you would imagine. And the corn flour itself. There we go. This is what it looks like. Let's see. So you see the little pieces of corn in there. Feel of the cheese. Let's try. Mm. It's very sweet. Sweet corn, I'd imagine. Or I can taste it here. Creamy from the cheese. Lovely little snack. Slightly more than a dollar, you can't complain. I mean, can McDonald's make something that looks like this? I don't think so. I think that's another point for McDonald's there. So now it's three for Bolivia, one for McDonald's. So far only the chips from McDonald's can, can, can be better than what I've tried so far tonight. So yeah, I'll finish this and Keep going, find some more food. Still on the hunt for these anticucho, the cow's heart, the most delicious street food according to most Bolivians, to most paseños. I think it's a jackpot. We have found anticucha, anticucho, perdón. Right in here, somewhere. Let's find this lady selling anticuchos. Let's see what we can find. I can smell that lovely cow heart coming to my stomach. This is the She's putting the cow heart with potatoes and a peanut sauce. Well, not the peanut sauce, but the potatoes and the cow heart. Absolutely. Delicious here, you can see these guys are waiting already for their portion. This is gonna be fantastic. So this is the anticucho. We have potatoes and this is the cow's heart with the yellow on top. This is spicy another kind of spicy sauce with some peanuts i believe so let's give it a try here Super tender, so soft it melts on you. Wow, muy buena, muy buena. It's like melting on your, melting on your tongue. It's fantastic, smoky, proper barbecue stuff. Proper barbecue stuff. Let's have some of this. Yet another point for Bolivia against against McDonald's, and it's only only ten Bolivianos. Yet again, like one dollar twenty cents, one and a half dollars, something like that. 
absolutely delicious. Absolutely delicious. One point for McDonald's so far, four for Bolivia. Vamos Bolivia. All right, so that was the Anticucho. And my battery is dying. I'm absolutely stuffed now. My stomach is full. We tried the Anticucho, the cow's heart, the biggest speciality of, of La Paz. We tried the hamburguesa with lomito, the beef <laughs> steak burger. We tried the sil salchipapa, the, the one with the fries and the sausages. I must say the favorite of the day was the, was the Anticucho, the grilled smoked cow's heart. Absolutely delicious with this spicy peanut sauce as well. You must try that. Definitely recommend it. Four points we ended up with for Bolivia. McDonald's, only one. Only the chips are any decent from McDonald's. Though they're not even that good, but that's the only thing that I could, if I have to just be a little bit fair, can give to, to McDonald's one point. Four points for Bolivia. Absolutely delicious. You must try street food if you ever in Bolivia. And yeah, with that said, my battery is running out. I will end the video here. If you did like it, if it left you hungry, leave a comment down below with who you want to come to Bolivia and eat some street food with. And with that said, I'll end the video here. Click subscribe, hit the like button, so you'll get notified whenever I upload my next video. See you there.